He's Who my knows? spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, would your would your boys ever do anything like no, this? No, but my two year old now, he uh, when he gets like really big emotions, he sometimes just goes, I need to go take a break. And he just goes <laughs> to the other same. Room, so. Better than just It's kind of the, the same ground. thing. I'm yeah. sure that's a feeling we also <laughs> all could buddy. understand. It's so cute. Yes. <laughs> well, that brought a smile to my face, and I know what else would make you guys smile. It's the weather later today. Now, even right now, it's beautiful looking outside. You can see that on our Southeast Community College camera. The sunrise now coming up across Lincoln. Some clouds spotty are starting to pop up as well around the area as those move through. But overall, mostly clear skies and temperatures. A little bit of a mixed bag across Southeast Nebraska. We're in the upper 20s for the Lincoln Airport. 36, not too far away. That's in Adilla. Check out Hebron, 47. That's the place you want to be this morning. A little warmer there. 40 in Aurora and 28 in Columbus. So overall, all of us still want to have those jackets on this morning. But later today, as you're hopefully taking the kids to the park or just spending some time maybe working out outside or just sitting outside, well, you don't need the jacket later. Back to feeling like spring in May as we head into the afternoon. 11 o'clock, low 60s, but by 1 o'clock, we already are in the low to mid 70s. And I think for several of us across the area today, we will make it to the mid to upper 70s. Just a few degrees warmer compared to what we saw temperature wise yesterday. Now, with that said, we might attempt to tie, I think, some high temperature records around the area. Lincoln record to tie and or beat is 79 degrees. Right now, our high temperature forecast for today is 76, so we could try to maybe make it. I think best chance to maybe break some records. It's going to be close to the Kansas border where they could flirt with the low 80s today. As for, of course, the dryness out there, we have to talk about it that since we already have a fire report this morning. It's very dry this morning, but even drier as we head into the afternoon hours. Just like yesterday, we were talking about the concern for fire weather. Again, we are concerned about that today as relative humidity values just drop down into the 20s later this afternoon and even into the evening hours. So please avoid burning a gun for today. Stay away from the fire pit if you can. Not a good day for that. And as we look at tonight, we do start to see some changes that will kind of flip the weather around tomorrow. Low 30s for overnight lows tonight. Not that bad. Increasing clouds and breezy at times as a frontal system pushes through and that'll cool us down for highs for your Thursday. 52 degrees. We start to warm back up though Friday upper 60s on Saturday. A little cooler for some of the area. At least the western half of the viewing area as another frontal system passes through upper 60s on Saturday. It looks like for Lincoln right now. So just a tad bit cooler across the area and also maybe a little bit more moisture once we get past Thursday. Thursday, we start to see some precipitation Friday night into Saturday, maybe even some snow near the Panhandle and maybe even in northeastern Nebraska as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. So cooling down a little bit for Thursday, technically cooler on Saturday. Not that bad, still in the upper 60s. It's Sunday, guys. I think that's when the, uh, we just break out all the winter gear again. 38 degrees for your high big temperature drop. And Sunday just so happens to be Elena's birthday. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to think about it right now. <laughs> like, of course, the one day out of the four. Just celebrate today, Elena. <laughs> exactly. I'll celebrate every day this week. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Brittany.